we are on our way to Bacala, which I should say that it's actually Shulha. <clears throat> now, uh, we woke up at 5.45 this morning. So you see I look crazy. So we're going to Shulha, which is just a southern part of Bacalar. Bacalar is called the Lagoon of Seven Colors because when the sun rises, you'll see like seven colors of blue. I've been probably, this is probably like my eighth or ninth or tenth time, but we are only about, let's say 15 minutes from Belize um, when we're there. So uh, we are still about three hours away, so we have a bit of ways. But from Puerto Morelos, it's a total of about a four hour drive. So we'll share our uh, ride along with you guys. Here we go. Yeah, that's me, a girl from Iowa living in Mexico. I took a very random 16 day adventure across 18 states of Mexico with my two dogs and people I met three days prior, all the way from Tijuana to Cancun. I've lived here for three years and I've fallen in love with Mexico and want to share it with you. You will see my favorite places to eat, stay, and play. So follow my Trish Advisor if you want to know more about this amazing country and let's enjoy this journey together. So it's 8.09 in the morning and we have made it to Tulum. We're alive and well. But here is Tulum at 8 o'clock in the morning. I think this is the quietest I've seen it. Everything seems to be just opening. made it to Felipe Carrillo Puerto and uh, we have internet. We didn't have internet pretty much south of Tulum for about an hour. We survived. We survived. Yo, tú dices que él tiene un chancó se vivió, pues, o el carro, yo, eh, chula, y este es de Andrés Quintana Roma, how cool is that it's Mayan radio station but what's funny is when you listen to him talk he's speaking Mayan but he'll go y, y pues, or andale like they say like Spanish words mixed with the Mayan También. oh no now he's speaking Spanish Okay, now he switched to Spanish. That was so cool. That's wonderful to hear the Mayan language on the radio. Something to be very aware of are these topes, which are like these speed bumps. Now you can see this one is brightly colored and beautiful, but many of them are not. And I went like probably 50 miles an hour, this is like four years ago, over one, and all my friends were mad at me because it was like three o'clock in the morning and then on the way back, my friend driving did it. So I was like, see, it's not just me. <laughs> but you have to be very careful because every any time that you feel like you're starting to go through a town, slow down because a lot of those um, topes are not marked like that. So be careful. Con cuidado, amigos, con cuidado. So we just passed through the town of Bacalar. There's the Bacalar Lagoon and then there's the town of Bacalar. So we're gonna be about 20 minutes south of the town of Bacalar, but we will be staying in the town called Shulha, X-U-L-H-A, and uh, that town is still located on the lagoon of Bacalar. So I'm excited. We have made it to Shulha. So we are just our last five minutes away. So I'll show you a little bit of the drive because last year we were in the same area and uh, the last like few meters I think are gonna be crazy if it was like last year because we were went to Grease Monkey which is this like little place that had a bus you could stay in the bus but I think you'd like bake in it so we'll go ahead So pretty. 
pretty. Yeah, this is the road we were on last year. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Drive straight into the, yeah, you're gonna go right. Oh, look at the stand-up paddle border. I don't know if you guys can see it way out there, but there's, okay, this is, I remember this road. So now you're gonna make a right. Here we go. Frente de calle. Buenos dias. Good morning. So we made it to Bacalar or Shulha. We made it to the lagoon of Bacalar, but we're staying in Shulha, like I mentioned before. And I'll give you a tour of the property shortly. But yesterday we just got settled in, hung out with friends. And then today I will be showing you um, the bedrooms, the bathrooms. Uh, just the whole property all together so you guys can see it because it's gorgeous and I think it'd be great for like I mean big families or <clears throat> even more friends there's six of us here total but really there could be probably two or maybe three more easily um, but we're here for a little late on the sunrise but I'm gonna turn this around and show you the lagoon Do you hear the birds? There's one house here, and there's three bedrooms with three bathrooms. And then there's another house here where it's got one huge bedroom and a bathroom. And let me know if you guys have been to Bacalar, what you think of it, because it's a lagoon of seven colors, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So there's a grill, the chair for Instagram, Great seating area and hammocks. And then this was our kitchen area here. So there's like a full size fridge, microwave. And there was like at one point like six of us in this thing. But look at how beautiful this is. And then this is like the family they live on site. Um, they took care of everything while we were here and helped us clean. Now we literally stayed here for three days, did not leave. Anything we needed from the store, we brought most of it, but things that we forgot or we missed, um, the family that lives here, they ran and got it for us. It was super easy. Obviously just tip them well, take care of them. <laughs> Look at this cutie, she follows you everywhere you go. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you're gonna be in Cancun and the Riviera Maya and need airport transfers or tours, please go to mytrishadvisor.com. See you guys soon.
just farted. So I want to just show you how calm the lagoon is. Now, quite honestly, I have really mixed emotions about these jet skis because I've only been here when there were sailboats and the jet skis are kind of new, I think, from what, I mean, I remember the first two times, three times I came here, I never saw jet skis. But again, remember, we're on the south side of um, Bacalar. But what I'll say is that it's really interesting to explore because I've never been able to explore just me and the jet ski and go into places that you normally wouldn't be able to go. Una de piña con chile, por favor. Y Hay mango maduro, mango verde, jícama. No, ¿y tienes bebidas? Sí. ¿O claro. algo? Gracias. <risa> ok, y... Igual hay pan de elote elote, natural, piña con plátano. Piña con plátano. ¿Plátano? Elote y piña con plátano. Uh, pi pineapple, piña con plátano. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, ok. Uh, look at that. Ya, yeah, sí, listo. 60 pesos. 60 pesos. Ok. So 70 pesos for everything, which is like three and a half dollars. Or say four bucks. Hey, dudes. Ah. <laughs> Where they go? Because <laughs> if we didn't have this, I would have never made this over here. But just look how calm the water is. Look at my crazy hair. Hey! What is this? There you go. Hey!